Well, hello again, fight fans, and welcome to another edition of the Speed Bag. Today, a little segment I like to call, that'd be cool, but cool enough? Now, as you may have seen, a report out on Wednesday says the UFC could be looking to purchase the naming rights to that fancy new Vegas arena set to open on the Strip here fairly shortly. And so far, you know, the UFC has not said whether that report has any merit to it, but we do know that UFC 200 is set for that arena. UFC President Dana White was at the groundbreaking for that arena, talking about what a game changer it was going to be. It's not too hard to imagine that the UFC would like to see its name up on the side of the building when the thing opens. And I admit, a part of me thinks that that would be pretty cool. You know, especially the old school MMA fan part of me, the part that felt like our sport never got the attention or the respect that it really deserves. I mean, if you have an arena named after you right there on the Vegas Strip in the fight capital of the world, that is big time. You know, that is some in-your-face Quicken Loans arena type stuff right there. And yet, what are you really getting for your money here? And it would be a lot of money. We're talking millions of dollars per year for the naming rights to something like that, and at a time when the UFC is facing persistent complaints about fighter pay. Really what you get with the naming rights to an arena is you get advertising. And not even like nuanced, message-specific advertising. We're talking more brand awareness. What you get is you get to force people to say the name of your company anytime they talk about what's going on at that arena. And that's true whether we're talking about a Taylor Swift concert or an NHL game. They have to keep saying the name of the company over and over again. And there is a value to that. A recent study actually showed that for publicly traded companies that get their name on a stadium that hosts something like Monday Night Football where 30 or 40 million people might watch, they get a noticeable bump in their stock price just because of that. The problem is, you know, for one thing, the UFC is not a publicly traded company, so stock price, at least right now, isn't a concern. Also, it's not clear how often something like a Las Vegas arena would get 30 or 40 million eyeballs on it. But when you're talking about increasing awareness, I mean, it is something that those of us in the MMA sphere have been programmed to think is a good thing, and I'm sure it is. I mean, the more people that hear about it, the more people have a chance to be a fan of it. And yet, it's not 2003 anymore. I think a lot of people out there who are sports fans and who might be into this, they've heard of it by now. They've heard of UFC, they've heard of MMA, they probably made a decision one way or another about it. They're probably not going to watch an NHL game on TV and think, UFC arena, huh? I should become a fan of that sport, too. That's just not how that stuff works. And, I mean, sure, it would be cool to have a UFC arena, but if it's not going to make a noticeable difference in your business, and it's going to cost you millions and millions of dollars per year to do it, what are you really doing? And that's when it starts to feel like a vanity project, like you're just carving your name into the brick so you can say, we were here and we mattered. At least, you know, until the deal ends, somebody else buys the naming rights and they get to say they were here and they mattered. And I'm not saying it wouldn't be kind of awesome to have a UFC arena. I'm not saying it wouldn't be kind of awesome to go see a UFC fight at the UFC arena. I'm just saying, while it would be cool, would it be cool enough for that? And when all at a time when fighters could really use a little more money in their pockets?